Dr. Scott Looper, Medical Director of White Spruce Medical here in Fairbanks. And I appreciate the feedback we've been getting from the videos that we've been doing. Uh, people, it's been warm, it's been really nice. And we've also got some questions, so I want to address to the questions today. But before I do, I want to point out that you can tell these videos apart from how long my hair is getting. Uh, like the rest of us, <laughs> there's not much chance of me getting a haircut. So it's just going to get longer and longer and bushier until you know something breaks or I decide to cut my hair on my own, which I just might. Anyways, let me address the, the two of the questions that have come up. One of the questions is, I mentioned this cytokine storm as the thing that we need to be you know, uh, uh, vigilant against not making sure that it doesn't happen. What is a cytokine storm? And it's actually quite simple. A uh, cytokine storm is uh, when your white blood cells release too many cytokines. And cytokines are the way the immune system communicates, you know, one cell to another. They don't have eyes and ears and noses and they can't talk, so somehow they have to communicate. So what they do is they release chemicals, and the chemicals make them more or less likely to engage the enemy or not. And with COVID, the, the response to the virus is strong. Not for everybody, some people it's relatively mild, but occasionally things go wrong and bad. And what happens is the white blood cells basically dump all their chemicals at once and it wrecks havoc. That's what a cytokine storm is. The immune system needs to have a measured response, not too much, not too little. And the immune system is designed to kill invaders and it does so beautifully but if it dumps its chemicals too quickly it not only kills the invaders it kills us at the same time that's the problem so what we need to do is we need to help our immune system not overreact that's the trick we we are not powerless here we can actually do things to keep the immune system from overreacting and the list i've given already vitamin d again nothing's proven here and i want to be perfectly clear on that nothing is proven because the, the disease hasn't been around long enough but the evidence is, is good and it's piling up. We're getting more evidence all the time. So I won't go into all the details of it. I mean, just say it's vitamin D, it's fish oil, it's mushrooms, it's melatonin. Uh, zinc is probably gonna be helpful for different reasons, not so much with the cytokine storm, but just with fighting off the virus. Um, and also, one of the questions, okay, there you go, that answered question number one, cytokine storm. Question number two is, what about Sambucus? Uh, there's a lot of evidence that Sambucus which is elderberry, that's the, the scientific name for elderberry. Um, I'll call it elderberry. So what about elderberry? And the answer is, yeah, the evidence is good with elderberry as well, but the reason why I don't mention it is because you can't get it. And I don't want to frustrate people and have them try to get something that you can't get. Now, I don't know, maybe you can get elderberry. We can't get it. We tried and we just literally can't get it. So we can't bring it into the clinic. So well, I'm not mentioning it, but again, elderberry's got good evidence that it calms the cytokine storm down. There's a, it's some speculation that it might work too well and that what we need is an immune response. What we do is if this is too much and this is too little, we want it somewhere in the middle. So we don't want to shut it down. That's what steroids do. And we don't want to amp it all the way up. It's that's what it's doing on its own. We want it to come somewhere in the middle. Um, I'll give you an example of something that can throw it off, and we talked about this before as well, is um, medications, NSAIDs that uh, predominantly, that uh, mitigate fever, that bring fever down. And it's shutting your immune system down too much. I don't recommend them. Um, so Sambucus might fit in that category, it might not, but again, this is all academic. You can't get it. So I'm sorry to say. Anyways, here's the answer to the questions. Keep the questions coming in. It's nice, we feel engaged with this. You're encouraging me to make more of these videos. So again, this is Dr. Scott Looper, Medical Director of the White Spruce Medical here in Fairbanks, Alaska. I want you guys to stay safe, to stay healthy, and stay in touch.